Hey, Florian Pros, Jerry Levinson here again, and talking about this is a mini masterclass. Um, day one, we went over your business plan and setting goals for the future. You can check out that video. Um, talked about what's the most important number you need. You need 85 leads a month in this scenario. Uh, so break that down for you. You guys can all do that for yourself in your company. And then we talked about how to get those leads. So marketing tips, um, ways that you can market and generate the leads that you need to generate to reach your goals. So here's some advertising tips that are cheap or free. You can see that in video number two. And now we are going to talk about sales. So um, becoming a master at sales and in the flooring industry, a lot of people that get, get into it come from an installation background or you know the product well, you know the installation well. So in sales, one of the things that we always say is it's better to understand than to be understood. And what that means is understanding that customer, why they're changing their flooring at this time, what they have down now, what their situation is, what their timeline's like, that's more important than them knowing that you've been doing this for 20 years and that you're an expert and that you have all this knowledge and you're so smart. It's more important for you to understand them, the customer. So uh, a couple of things there. Let's, let's start off by, this is the first thing in any sales training. We talk about, you know, you get customers that call in and they say, hey, what does it cost to do carpet? I mean, they just randomly ask you a question or do you have vinyl? What does that cost? They don't quite know the terminology, but they're going to hit you with a price question right off the bat. And that's something that a lot of people are defensive about. Like, oh, this person's just price shopping. No, they're not. It's a legitimate first question for people to ask. When you're shopping for tires or air conditioner for your home, you want to know, you want an idea of what that's going to cost, right? So it's a fair question to ask. Your response should be, well, tell me about your project. What are you working on? We'll talk about this in the masterclass, why that should be your response, but it's your response every time. So people come in with a broken piece of tile. Hey, can you match this? Well, tell me about your project. What are you working on? You know, because we can't match the tile. In fact, nobody can match that tile. It doesn't exist anymore. Yes, they bought it last February. It no longer exists, right? So, um, but what's the project? What are they working on? A lot of times uh, salespeople will say, no, we don't have anything like that. I'm sorry, you know, hey, why don't you go to Floor and Decor? Why don't you go to Home Depot? I think you could find it there. Why would you do that? Why would you send them somewhere else? Because quite frankly, they're not gonna be able to find it anywhere else. You find out about their project and maybe you find out they're working on a, another room. They wanna do tile throughout the house and now they're ready to start the other project but they, they can't find the tile anymore. Well, they're going to replace that flooring. Why not have them do that with you? So tell me about the project, what are you working on? Oh, we're doing the basement now and, and we wanna use the same tile in the house. Well, that's not gonna be an option. I mean, you're not gonna be able to find that tile. This happens often. So what we recommend you do is transitioning to either a different tile or a different type of flooring. Um, let me, you know, are you open to some other ideas? If you ask their permission to show them something else, they'll always say yes. If you say, no, that's not available here, let me show you this. Now they're going to be defensive about their position. So you don't want them to be defensive. So learn how to ask permission to show them something else. I love this, you know, hey, the competitor, um, I want to show you ways that we're going to show you ways to beat the competitor with you're going to be higher prices and still continue to beat your competition. So uh, you run across this scenario all the time that, hey, the competitor is $2,000 less than you on an $8,000 project. And I hear this stuff on the forum all the time. And, and people are like, but I've been doing this 25 years. I'm really good. I've got the skills. I got the knowledge. I got... 200 five-star reviews. And I've been in that location over 10 years. You know, Tim over there, he's just a trunk slammer. He hasn't been in this business for very long. But guess what? They kind of like Tim. Tim's a nice guy. 
they trust him. And when Tim came in there and he said, yeah, you know what? We're $2,000 less than Larry's store over there, but I haven't been around as long and I'm not as reliable and I might not do the job right. <laughs> They're not saying that, you know, Tim's over there selling as a reliable, good salesperson saying that he can do the job. He can do a great job. He's done this stuff before and he doesn't understand why that other store is charging so much. So everybody gets defensive in, in that, you know, when somebody's cheaper, that just assumes that that guy's going to do a crappy job. Well, the guy's not selling that way. So it's on you. How do you create a killer presentation? So what you want to do are two things. You want to make them confident about using you. And then you want them to doubt using, not using you, using somebody else, but mostly not using you. So what's the risk of not using your store? Okay. And what we'll teach you to do is take whatever you do that's ordinary and make it extraordinary. And a lot of us make assumptions as to what the customers know, because we've been doing this so long that customers know we get free in home estimates. Customers know that you have to move the furniture first or take up baseboards or, you know, we assume customers know these things, but you'll find if you create a killer presentation, they don't know this stuff and it's going to put doubt in their head. So what's your estimation process? When are they going to get that estimate? Uh, what's your ordering and delivering material process? Does it have to acclimate? You know, explain that stuff to them. How are you going to handle the tear out? And then are you cleaning up after yourself? Uh, are you going to haul the stuff away and throw it out? If you explain that in a presentation properly, now it's going to put doubt in their mind about somebody else. Are they going to throw out, is Home Depot going to throw out my old carpet? Or are they going to leave it on the sidewalk? Um, what's your installation process? So what does that floor prep look like? What we do is extremely complicated work, but we're commoditizing it because we leave it up to the customer to assume that, you know, buying this flooring is going to be the same experience whether you buy from me or you buy from Home Depot, you know, and there's nothing special about the installation process. What's the warranty? You know, do you offer a lifetime guarantee on your installation? I know we do because we're going to fix it anyway. So you might as well give a lifetime guarantee. And there's not an overwhelming amount of customers that call us back to have repairs done. Why? Because we do a good job installing as you do. Um, what can you tell them that's unique about doing business with you that they can't find from somebody else? Now, what's really important is not that you tell them, but you show them. When you put it on paper, it gives it more validation. It makes it real. So we walk through, this is our, our process for selling carpet. And we share this with you. I show you how to build this at the master class, And it just, it makes a world of difference between hiring salespeople, training salespeople, closing more sales and getting higher prices. And gives that customer confidence in using you and doubt about not using you. Okay, so closing in the home. We wanna go over why it's important to give that customer an opportunity to buy from you now. I wanna show you why it's important to close in the home and kind of what disservice you're doing for the customer by not closing in the home. You know, I mean, people don't follow up with the customer or they send an email that doesn't get there or that customer gets distracted and somebody comes in behind you and they're gonna close in the home. They're gonna take that order before you even get an opportunity to give your estimate. So, because what is a priority to a lot of customers is let's get this going. You know, why? Because I have a party coming up or because I am so disgusted by this flooring. I just can't wait to get rid of it. I don't care who I'm buying from. I don't care what the price is. I want to get this thing going and I'm not willing to wait until you come back with your estimate. This guy came out, he gave me an estimate. We can get the order going. He set an installation date, boom. Let's go, okay? We're gonna talk about that, why you should close in the home, giving you several ways to close in the home without being high pressure at all. And then we'll discuss how you do the follow-up. You know, so why is it important? And you're gonna learn some great tips on ways to handle follow-up as well. 
Um, going back to closing in the home, a lot of that has to do with measuring and giving a price, but we get caught up in the details. I'm gonna show you how to overcome those details and how to make it simple to give a price in the home. Don't worry about being so accurate and being checked on your prices because what that customer wants is beautiful new flooring. More than that, they wanna get rid of the crap that they have now. You know, they're disgusted by it. All right, don't miss out on this. There's no reason to. You can join us live in Orlando, Florida, September 14th and 15th. Best if you come live. You'll be able to network with people, have one-on-one -on -one conversations with me. You're gonna get a lot out of it. If you can't make the flight, you can't make those dates, then join us online. It's just $397. Um, also, th the class will be recorded for you. So anybody that buys a class, you will get a recording afterwards of the entire class along with PDFs, any material, okay? So if you wanna have a conversation about that, um, you can click the Calendly link. I hate that name, Calendly, because I can't ever say it. There's a link below where you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me to discuss your situation. Or um, if you're ready to sign up, just let me know. Send me a message, let me know you're ready to sign up and let's get you going for this year's masterclass. It's gonna be fun.